In today's video, Mikey and I ran out of money and decided to infiltrate the Diamond Village and rob one of the money vaults. We dressed up in formal costumes to be recognized as villagers, but we were caught by the police and sent to jail. Okay, it's a great day to go to a pizza place. I really want a pepperoni pizza, so I'm gonna go order one. Hi, can I place an order? I really want a pepperoni pizza. Can you make me one? Pepperoni pizza? Of course it's coming. Just wait a few seconds. It'll be done. Yay, I'm finally gonna eat now. So here's your pizza. That'll be $22. One second. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the money. Is there any other way to pay? What do you mean you don't have money? Then why did you come and order? No more pizza for you. Leave our restaurant quickly. Huh? Yes, you heard right. Get out of our restaurant. You can't eat here unless you have money. Go outside quickly. That's a strange reaction. Usually they give me free food here and then I put money in when it shows up. My God, I thought I had money and it turned out differently. Viewers, if you feel sorry for me, please like the video. I'm out of money and I don't know what to do, but I have an idea. I'll go ask Mikey for a few dollars. I think he has money. I think he's at home playing on the computer right now, so I'm gonna go over there. Mikey, I have a question. Are you busy? I just need to ask you for a few dollars. I'm all out of money and I really wanna buy something to eat. I have all my money in the safe? What happened? I got kicked out of a pizza place for not having any money. I didn't even expect to have two dollars left in my pocket. That's weird. Let me see how much money I have. JJ, I got bad news for you. I only have one dollar left. You can look in the safe. I have nothing left. Ugh. I don't know where we're gonna get the money. It's a long time till payday. Oh? I don't know what we're gonna do. JJ, look, I have an idea. There is a diamond village not far from our house. How do you like the idea of going and robbing it? I think as long as it was just built, there are no guards. We can easily get a lot of money and get away with it. There are no cameras, what do you think? Great idea, Mikey, but let's wait till nightfall. It's too dangerous to act during the day. I think so too, let's do it. All right, JJ, let's start executing our plan. So, it's nighttime. Mikey, watch out, the police are here. Ah! Quickly hide behind the wall. We're being very quiet, as long as they don't see us. All right, Mikey, I think we can go. They've passed. Let's run across the road quickly before the police see us in their rear view mirrors. <laughs> Phew! Well, I guess the police didn't see us. Let's figure out a plan to get into this diamond village. I'm gonna see if we can get through this fence. No, Mikey, the fence is under the power. We have to get around it. Do you have any ideas? Give me a couple seconds to think. Oh, I have an idea. Just follow me. Uh, woohoo! Hey, why did you do that, Mikey? You're attracting too much attention. Don't you think someone will hear the sound of breaking glass and call the police? It's gonna be okay, JJ. Now, dive into this basement. I've been in this house, so I know it leads to a cave, which could lead us to the Diamond Village. All right, I trust you, Mikey. Stop, look, there's a code to the chest on the sign. Let's open it. I think it might have something we can use. Only there is one problem. I do not understand math at all. Can we ask our subscribers to write in the comments under the video? How much is 34 plus 30? Yes. Viewers, please write in the comments under the video, what is 34 plus 30? We can't do it without your help. You have a couple seconds to write a comment. Mikey and I are waiting for your comment. So hurry up and write it. Yes, viewers, please. We can't do this without your help. JJ, someone posted in the comments that the correct answer is 64. Let's give it a try. Hmm. I don't think the viewers will fool oh, oh. us. That's actually the right answer. Look what was in the chest. I'll trust you on this one. You're better with a crowbar than I am. <gasps> you can count on me, JJ. I know my way around this thing. Viewers, thanks for helping us with the code to the safe. Yep. We couldn't have done it without your help. 
Now follow me, JJ. Yeah, I'm coming for you, Mikey. Now wait, there's a grape. I'm gonna break it and we can move on. Yep, and another one. Yep. You're a real thief, Mikey. I'm shocked at how fast you did it. It's not that complicated. Let's hurry up and go. We still have to find a way out of here. Yep. Hmm. JJ, looks like we're on the right track. Let's check the top. I see diamonds. Woohoo! Wow, Mikey, you were right. That cave led straight to the Diamond Village. The important thing is to be very quiet. You can't wake anyone up. JJ, hurry up and get over to this house. I've got an idea. Take this suit and put it on yourself. That's what villagers wear in this village. Ho ho! Viewers, please like the video if Mikey and I look really cool in these costumes. Now, let's go execute our plan, Mikey. JJ, acting like we're villagers. Let's go look around the houses for things to steal. Hmm. Mikey, there's a lot of treasure and money in the back of the house. Let's go there, but quickly and very quietly. Okay, JJ. We're gonna pretend like we own this house. There's no one here, so we don't have to worry about being seen at all. Okay, look, there's lasers. But we can crawl under them, so just lay down and crawl. Yep. Okay, that's it, JJ. We got it. Now, let's take a look at what's in these golden turtles. All these treasures look incredible. I can't imagine who it all belongs to. Ho-ho! <gasps> JJ, you and I are incredibly rich. It's unbelievable. Look at all this money. Ho-ho! <gasps> Mikey, I can't believe my eyes. If we take all this treasure... We could be out of work for the rest of our lives. Let's get what we can carry and run. We've got to get to Miami without being seen. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get to that cave so we can get some rest and decide what to do. But it's too dangerous to stay in the city now. Yeah, we took a lot of stuff. They'll notice if we go missing. So Mikey, we need to get out of here carefully and without attracting attention and then get out of town. Let's go to Miami. We'll be safe there. Yep. Phew! All right, we're here. Let's go upstairs. Ah! Duh! Hands up, this is the police. You're in custody for robbery. If you start running, we'll start shooting. But we were set up. We didn't do anything. Look at us. We're villagers from Diamond Village. We have villager costumes. And that you then did not go out the main entrance, but are in a house that has been broken into. One more word and you will be in solitary confinement, quickly into a police car. You were told to remain silent. What's the big deal? Get to jail fast. Ugh. Put absolutely everything you stole into this chest, quickly. And then we'll see if you put everything in. And if you haven't, too bad for you. That's it. We've got nothing else. Yep. But it's not our fault. Honestly, how else can you prove it? No way. Get up against the wall and put on a prison uniform. It's unpleasant to walk around in expensive suits. Subscribers, please like the video if you feel sorry for us. Also, write in the comments, let JJ and Mikey out of jail if you want to see more of our adventures. All right, enough chit chat. Get upstairs to the second floor to the holding cell. Okay, okay, sorry. Come on, go straight ahead. Your cell's the farthest away. Why are you all crowded together? Come in quickly. All right, we're in. You can close up now, but know that it's not our fault. Mikey, what are we going to do now? I didn't expect it to turn out this way. It's too bad. What about our children and wives? What will happen to them without us? I don't know, JJ. Let's see what's in this cell. Check that nightstand. Ho ho! See if there's anything in there. Mikey, I found a pickaxe. <gasps> this is unbelievable. We can get out of here. I'm gonna break down the wall and then we're gonna go to the chest with our stuff. We're gonna get the money and get out of this town. No one's here, JJ. Let's go to the chest. I'll take half, you take the rest. Come on, Mikey. Let's go to our house. There's a plane waiting for us, and we can get out of here. Quickly jump down. Woohoo! <sighs> All right, we're near the plane. Let's get on it and go. <laughs> Whoa! JJ, you and I are a real team. Okay, 
And today we're doing the road map challenge. Mikey, we have two roads to choose from. Which one do you want to choose? Diamond or Earth? JJ, you're still asking? Of course I'm taking the dirt road. Earth is the most valuable material in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mikey, have it your way. Let's get to the challenges. And the first challenge is to bridge the gap by going through the micro blocks. Mikey, you can see that faint line, right? Of course I can see the line, JJ. It's a cakewalk. I can do this challenge in five seconds. Okay, the challenge begins. Ah! <laughs> Mikey, you fell so funny. You said it was an easy challenge. How did you fall like that? Just, I... I woke up five minutes ago. My eyes closed and I fell. That was the plan, JJ. It's really easy. Hmm. All right. Have it your way. But weirdly, I saw you at the pizza place an hour ago. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Mikey, what happened this time? Is it that hard to go micro-blogging? Uh, just, just my bad luck. My shoe was too slippery and I just slipped. It had just rained, so the ground is wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's raining. Okay, Mikey, I'll believe you. It's just bad luck. JJ, look, I did it. I told you it was easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, there's a chest. Let's see what's inside. It's the reward for the challenge. Oh, inside my earth armor and sword. That's a win! I had a diamond breastplate and a sword in my chest and some dynamite. I think I won. No, JJ, I won. Oh, look, you have to win a duel against someone to win, JJ. Yeah, that's right. Look, close the gate and there's a button on the ground to start the challenge. Go on three. One, two, three. Ah! Witch, she scared me so bad, JJ. At least give me a warning. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And this witch is pretty strong, Mikey. How are you doing? Are you able to defeat her? Uh, phew! Stop, Mikey. Did you lose the battle with the witch? <laughs> There's no way you failed in such an easy fight. No, JJ. You're imagining things. I wasn't losing, that's all. I, I, I went outside to tie my shoelaces. Uh, all right. I'll believe you, Mikey. But you can't do that. It means you lost the challenge. I won't do it again. But look, I beat the witch. Ah! I thought that was it. JJ, why didn't you warn me? Ah! Phew! Stop, Mikey. This time, I clearly saw you lose the fight to the spider. What happened? Why are you lying to me? Wasn't the challenge I made for you too hard? You're imagining things, JJ. I didn't lose. It's just, it's just that I beat the other spider and there were particles from it like someone lost. Let's see what bounty awaits us in the chest. Oh, I got a bunch of golden apples, obsidian armor, a katana, and a laser weapon. What's in your chest, Mikey? Hey! Why do I have stone armor and a chicken sword in my chest? That's not fair! But let's move on to the next challenge. <laughs> okay, Mikey, the point of this challenge is that we have to solve a math problem and choose the right lever. You know math, don't you, Mikey? Oh, man, I barely know math. Oh, JJ, I have an idea. Go here. Let's ask our subscribers to write in the comments the answer to this example. Great idea. Subscribers, write in the comments how much is one plus one and help Mikey solve the example. And also, subscribers, help JJ solve an example. So what it says here is five plus five. Write in the comments how much is five plus five and help JJ. Hmm, let's wait literally a couple seconds for them to post a comment and see what the right answer is. Yep, great idea, JJ. We'll wait a little while, but in the meantime, I'll figure out what one plus one would be. How much it's gonna be? One chicken plus one chicken. Yeah, right, three chickens. Ah! <laughs> Mikey, you said to wait for the subscribers to comment on the answer to one plus one. Now, I see that the subscribers said the answer is two. I got a 10. Okay, I'm pressing 10. Oh, thank you, subscribers. You wrote the right answer. Now, let's see what we get for completing this challenge. <gasps> Whoa! I got a weapon and a couple of sticks of earth dynamite. JJ, what do you got? 
I got a gun with ammo and a lot of dynamite. Mikey, I wouldn't be so sure of my pedestal if I were you. It doesn't matter, JJ. I can't wait for the final battle. I really want to beat you, JJ. Okay. Mikey, in this challenge, you have to do parkour. I hope you know how to do parkour. I mean, looking at your microblock challenge, not so much. Seriously? I'm the best parkour rider in the world, JJ. Ah! <laughs> Mikey, what happened this time? Did your shoelaces come untied uh, again? No, I just fell, JJ. Give me another try, please. I honestly did it by accident. Sure, Mikey. Come on, go parkour. Ah, ouch! Uh, Mikey, did you do that on purpose? I accidentally, uh, uh I, I got a butterfly in my eye. <laughs> so I got scared and fell down. Honestly, JJ, it's all the butterfly's fault. I'm gonna go parkour. <laughs> All right, Mikey, let's see what we got in the chest. Oh, I got blocks to build defenses for the final battle. And instant damage potions. Mikey, you can't beat me with an arsenal like that. Huh? <laughs> Mikey, that's not fair. Let's go to the next challenge. And I've got dynamite. Yeah, let's go to another challenge. Hmm, I don't see anything, Mikey. You got any ideas? No, but that laser is so scary. How are we supposed to get it out? Mikey, I got it. Look, there's a big subscribe button. This challenge is for our viewers to complete. Unless they subscribe to the channel, we can't go any further. Subscribers, please subscribe to the channel and we'll continue the challenge. Oh my God, look, JJ. Laser gone, viewers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. JJ, let's keep doing the challenges. Let's see what we got for doing this challenge. <gasps> Whoa! Wow! Mikey, look how many diamonds there are. It's all thanks to the viewers. And if they like it, we'll be even happier. Yes, viewers, give it a like. Yes! Well, Mikey, let's get to the final battle. But first, we need to build a defense. Because it's empty, it will be too easy. We got blocks to build. We'll use them. Yeah! Mikey, how does a fence help you? It can't take a bullet. That's very strange of you. I use barbed wire and sharp spears. You don't understand anything, JJ. It's the right thing to do. You'll find out what it's all about later. I just didn't have that many defenses in my chest. That's right, you took the dirt road. That's where the bad stuff is. But okay, you probably already know you're gonna lose, right, Mikey? My obsidian defense, you just can't win. There's no way I'm gonna lose, JJ. You'll see, and there's really good stuff on the dirt road. I'll beat you with my chicken sword. JJ, you just can't win. My earth dynamite can break down your defenses. Now we'll see about that. All right, Mikey, you ready? I just want to win you and go to the pizza place. There's no way you can beat me, JJ. I'll use everything I've yeah. got. My cake gun won't let you within a meter of my fortification. Try it, and you'll be covered in cake. I'll use all my guns and all my dynamite to destroy your fortification. You can't beat me with a cake gun, Mikey. Ow. Oh my god, what is that? Ouch. A mud bomb? Oh my god, Mikey, you've broken my defenses. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> There's no way you can beat me. Just look at my sword. I'm the strongest Chilenji player in the world. You just can't beat me ever. Mikey, I'm not just going to give up. You broke my fortification. You're going to pay for it. <laughs> Subscribe on channel. Leave a comment and put a like if you enjoyed today's adventure. Breaking news on TV, Mikey, look, something terrible is coming. Okay, JJ, but what happened? Urgent broadcasting. A terrible toxic flood of purple liquid is coming to the city. Anyone caught in it will either die or mutate. Everyone get to the basements and shelters immediately. It's going to happen soon. The neighboring town is already covered in purple slime. Citizens of the city, you have one hour to seek shelter. It will save your lives. Leave your homes and go to the nearest bunker. The military will help you as soon as the tsunami of radioactive liquid is over. Oh my god! JJ, what are we gonna do? This is extremely dangerous. Does our town have a bunker? I don't remember, Mikey, but we have to figure something out in the next hour. Otherwise, we're all gonna die. Oops, 
What I really don't want to do is die, because we might as well not even die, but turn into mutated, horrible zombies. That makes it even scarier. Rather, we have to figure something out. We don't have a lot of resources to build a proper bunker to sit in for long. So let's get what we need and start with these vegetables on the bed. That's a great idea. First, we'll need food to survive long term. It wouldn't hurt to find some meat as well, but we don't have any cows or sheep around here. It's sad. Hey, JJ, what do you think happened to the villagers of that town that got hit by that purple tsunami? Did they survive? I'm sure they've turned into scary monsters. They said on TV that it's radioactive liquid and it turns the creatures into nasty monsters. Oh, I remember. There's a bunker in our town, but it seems so old that it would be impossible to live there for a day. Let's go see. Wow, there seem to be a lot of villagers at the market today, but they don't know the news to be acting so calm. Let's go to the abandoned bunker. I have an idea. We can rebuild it if there are resources in the bunker so that people can live there for years. What if everything inside is flooded or there are mutant spiders living there? We could accidentally die. That's right, we're taking a big risk. But otherwise, we'll definitely die if we get hit by this purple tsunami. Come on, Mikey. See also, it's the hatches down. I think there's something down there. At least it doesn't look flooded. Shall we go down? Yes, I'm sure it's just all mold and cobwebs. Whoa! Look! This bunker is huge! There's plenty of room for our entire city to survive. The villagers will definitely fit in here. If they want, they'll join us and help us fix it up. Hmm, we need to find the main room. Looks like there's a lot of safe doors that could withstand a nuclear strike. Let's go in, Mikey. I'm opening the doors! Three, two, one! Look! They're really very secure! Ha ha ha! I wish I had one of those in my house! Well... Now, there's a long hallway, and at the end of it is a huge bank door! Wow! That's quite a web! Take the sword, chop that web with it! Now we must look inside! There seem to be a lot of chests! Maybe there's something valuable in them too! Like, I think there is! Ew! There's a nasty spider web everywhere. I'm gonna cut it all down. Uh, that's unpleasant. Nevertheless, it's time to see what's inside the chests. Perhaps there's an old expired supply of rotten food in there. Oh my God, Mikey, we're saved. This place has everything we need to survive. Looks like someone brought all these resources here a while ago to rebuild the bunker. Now let's get to building. But now, it's up to us. We're gonna live. We won't be afraid of this nasty tsunami of purple toxic liquid. That's right! First, let's do the most important thing. The toilet! The bathroom will be filled with everything so we can be clean. We'll make the walls out of quartz. Inside, we'll put two showers, a bathtub, and a toilet, and sink. JJ, how long do you think we'll have to stay in this bunker before we can safely go outside? I don't know for sure, but probably for a long time. Let's build it so that in case of emergency, we can live here for many, many months. A lot of months? Oops, I guess I didn't think I'd have to live here this long. Okay, I'll be ready for it. Then we're going to need a lot of entertainment to survive. I want lots of books and video games. That'll save our lives more than food or toilets. And we can also put a lot of food supplies here, like vegetables in the drawer or goodies in the fridge. There are also ice cream and cake fridges in these chests. What do you think? Ice cream? Yay! That's the best we got here. Well, we're done making a toilet. Now let's build a full big kitchen with everything we need to cook. That's definitely a great idea. The kitchen should have cabinets refrigerator and stove. We also have a microwave and tables and chairs here. Mikey, how about a kitchen island? It's ready. Now we're going to convert the floor to wood and the walls to quartz. Boom, done. Now we have a beautiful bunker on the inside. I'm getting tired already. Soon we'll finish and rest. Oh, don't forget to do the bedroom. Imagine how uncomfortable it would be to sleep on the floor. It's horrible. Mikey, the tsunami is less than 20 minutes away. We have minimal time left and we need to hurry. 
It's 20 minutes already. Oh my god! That's very short. But okay, I think we can do it in that time. Now, let's hurry up. I think I'm gonna make a computer and video game nook in here. Well, well, well. Oh, here we go. Great place. Now put three monitors and a chair for that. We could put in a second one just like it, but we're gonna have to save space in the bunker because there's a lot of other things we could use. Comfortable, really good here now. JJ, how about the bedroom finally? Let's make it across from the bathroom. That would be a very good idea. Okay, we have a lot of red cool beds. We will put them in three rows to make a very wide and spacious bed. This will be the best option for convenience. By the way, the tsunami is 10 minutes away. Are you ready for the apocalypse? Mikey, this is extremely serious. Be careful, once we finish making the bunker inside, we need to close all the hatches and doors for our safety. I got you, I'm keeping track of time. We're already safe, so I'm not worried so much. That's great, you're in a good mood. Look, we also have a bunch of the most powerful modern weapons. This will help us if, for example, some nasty mutants break in, or if we need to go to the surface to fight them. We also turned out to have plenty of food available. Do you like fries? We have 64 of them. We also have 64 each of cheeseburgers and hot dogs. Wow, cool. But in order for us not to get fat with so much delicious food, we have to keep ourselves in shape. I'm going to put a lot of exercise equipment here like jogging tracks. It'll save us from obesity. Ha ha! You know what else we could use? We might be traveling on the surface. And we need all-terrain vehicles. What do you think, JJ? Wow, I didn't think we had that. This is definitely a winning thing. We're gonna get to the rescue in these off-road vehicles. I'm also going to put flowers everywhere. Flowers and plants are very useful in our bunker. They produce oxygen, which we will need so we can breathe the air, because the bunker can run out of it. Now I'm going to put the treadmills in like I said. Look, they're cool. It's true, really beautiful. Well, Mikey, there's gonna be a tsunami in a few minutes. I think we've prepared for it and we can survive it. Now let's just wait it out. Look at this, and this is where I put the armor. One is diamond armor, and the other is a chemical defense suit. That's great. Now we can go outside without fear of becoming mutants. Oh my god. Mikey, the purple tsunami is here. It's coming towards our town. I think this town's gonna die. Look, it's enveloping everything. Even the sky's turning purple. All the villagers are dead. They didn't want to hear the news and became mutants or died. Let's check the situation outside. We're in hazmat suits and we're definitely safe from this liquid. Wait, what's that sound? I think it's the nasty mutants outside. We have guns, shoot them. Oh my God, they're extremely scary. They make me sick. JJ, save me. I only brought my gun. Ah. My flamethrower is doing its thing. Ha <laughs> ha, take that you filthy things. JJ, why do they look so much like you? These monsters look exactly like you. It's really weird and it scares me. I don't know, but as you can see, they're gone. I took out all those things with my flamethrower and my machine gun. We're safe now. Just look at all this. There's nothing left. It's all covered in this purple slime. If we take off our suits, we'll die right away. But that's okay. That slime will be gone in a couple weeks. We just have to wait. You know what, Mikey? We made it out alive. That's pretty cool. And that's the most important thing today. We can wait and it will be easy because we have the coolest and best equipped secure bunker in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Bye bye. Today in the video, the scientists gave us the remote control from the evil cat and we decided to prank our families. With the help of dolls, JJ and Mikey, we made a fake grave and then turned into mobs and did a hard prank on our family. How good the burgers are at the pizza place. I'm afraid to disagree with you, Mikey. Oh, who's that, Mikey? Is that you? No, I didn't invite anyone to visit. I thought it was you. Huh? 
JJ and Mikey, hello. I hope I haven't bothered you too much. I have a present for you. Come and get me quickly. Of course we'll go. I love presents. I'm very interested in what the scientist wants to give us. What's so urgent? Do you have any ideas, Mikey? No, but we're about to find out right now. And so, Mikey and JJ, listen up. The last couple days, I've been doing a very cool development. It's a radio-controlled evil cat. Ooh! Whoa! Look out there in the woods, and I have to get this remote. Look, this cat is controlled entirely by me. It can walk and shoot, all done with the remote. I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah! Oh my god, he can shoot! It's crazy, I wish I had a mean cat like that. I wouldn't be afraid of any enemy. I need a cat like that to dig potatoes for me. Scientist, can I buy this cat from you? We really need it. And I'm giving it to you. Really? That's a gift for us? Thank you so much. Mikey, look how cool it looks. I can control it any way I want. Thank you very much, Scientist. This is a very valuable gift for us. We are very grateful to you. JJ, this is a very powerful machine. Look at the craters it leaves in the explosions. Yeah, that's just crazy. Mikey, let's go and test this evil cat. JJ, this is so much fun. Let's hide him behind the bus for now and figure out what we're gonna do with him. You got any ideas? Yeah, I got an idea. Why don't we do a prank on our family? It's not a very good prank, but look. I have dolls of our bodies. Let's put them in a prominent place and the evil cat will attack us. <laughs> That's a great idea, JJ. I love it. I'm going to have to apologize a lot afterwards, but let's do it. Yay, where'd you go, Mikey? Wait for me. JJ, look. This is the perfect place to start our prank. Put our puppets here and we can go to that house over there. There's a big window where we can watch our family react to the prank. Yes, Mikey, you're right. The dolls look perfect. I think our wives will 100% believe it. Let's hurry up and go. <laughs> JJ, an angry cat can control itself from that far away. Can't it? Because we'll be in the house and the cat's behind the bus. It's a long way away. I think the remote can work very far away. We're about to find out, but first we need to get our wives outside. There's a stick of dynamite. Let's try to throw it. They're bound to come out to see what's going on. JJ, just be careful you don't hit the house or it might collapse. Don't worry, I throw dynamite perfectly. Yeah, we did it. You heard that explosion? Yeah. I'll start to get the evil cat to our dummies. JJ, look, we did it. Our wives came out of the house to check on us. JJ, attack the dummies and put graves in their place. Oh, did you hear them screaming? I think we overdid it with the prank. Why don't we just end it and say it's a prank? No, we've already started it. So there's no point in backing off, especially since you've already scared them so much. That's right too. Let me step away from the house so they can rest and see that the graves are real. So, I've got a tablet that's hooked up to the cameras. Let's see what our girls are doing. Oh, look! They've come out of the house, and they've got to go. It's interesting to see their reaction to our dolls suddenly being replaced by graves. JJ, get the camera closer! <laughs> They're crying. I feel sorry for them, but they'll be very happy when they find out it's a prank. Mikey, look. They went in the house. I wonder what they're gonna do. Look, they went into the bedroom. Right, it's almost night. Let's wait till they're asleep and go build a secret house for our prank. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's what we'll do. Just wait till they go to bed and we can get out of the house and go to our temporary shelter. They went to bed. Mikey, is our secret hideout ready yet? We don't have to build it now, do we? Yeah, it's ready. I'm gonna break the glass and we're gonna walk right into it. Careful not to step in the shards and hurry up and run. JJ, look, it's getting late at night. I think we can go and build our secret prank shelter. Hurry up and follow me. You got the pickaxe, right? Yeah, of course I brought my pickaxe, Mikey. All right, we're almost there. Don't see anyone around. Just don't let anyone see us. I don't see anyone. There's the 
grapes we need. Let's go to them. Okay, we're here. Get your pickaxe and build before they see us. JJ, break everything on the right side. I'll take the left side. Okay, Mikey. Whatever you say, I'll do whatever you want. Then we'll build our shelter out of planks. I think it'll be perfect. Okay, I think three blocks wide and five up is plenty. Yeah, I think so too. Wow, we did such a great job building this. I love how we did it. JJ, are you happy? Uh-huh. It's almost morning, and I think our wives are gonna wake up soon. So we gotta get out there and do the prank. Yes, but to start the prank, we need to do something. Subscribers, please write in the comments, do you like pranks? If yes, then write what prank we should do next. Yes, subscribers, please write a comment. Now, let's go to the transfiguration room. Okay, we just need to click on the transform button. Wait, what does it say? You have to click on the like button to transform. But I've already clicked on the like button. Oh, this is an appeal to our subscribers. Subscribers, please, in order to do the prank, we need you to click on the like button. Otherwise, our prank won't work. Hurry up and click on the like button. Whoa, the button turned from red to green. That means you liked it. Thank you very much. So, what kind of monster do I turn into? I don't know. Subscribers, for that matter, please write in the comments in which mob I turn into for a prank on our family. Just I cannot choose whether to turn into a skeleton or still in a zombie. Please, help me. JJ can easily choose which mob he wants to turn into for the prank, but I can't decide who I want to turn into. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Subscribers, please write in the comments what mob I want to turn into. A skeleton or a zombie. I just really don't know what would be best for our prank. So someone posted that I should turn into a skeleton. I think that's a great solution. I'll do that. I even wonder what mob Mikey turned into. Now, I'll go out and find out. Mikey, if you're ready, we can go out and start the prank. You can come out, JJ. Oh, you've turned into a skeleton, and I've turned into a zombie. It's a perfect combination. Yeah, it really is the perfect combination. So, should we start the prank? I just can't wait to get started. Yeah! <laughs> Mikey, do you hear the sounds from upstairs? I think we can start our prank. On one, two, three, we're good to go. Yeah, come on, one, two, three. <laughs> Yay, Mikey, we got them scared. I almost gave myself away. It was so funny how our kids and girls get scared. Did you see their eyes? Yeah, it was really funny to me too. So let's open the door and continue the prank, shall we? Get away from our children, skeleton. JJ and Mikey zombie, you don't belong here. Go to your grave. Oh no, our kids don't hit our kids. Zombie Mikey's. Kids, hurry up and run over here. There's a safe place. Mikey, get after them before they run off and tell someone we've turned into zombies. Kids, let's jump in the pool and run for the woods. JJ, get after them. There's a lot of people in these woods, as long as they don't tell anyone. Witch, help. We're being chased by our boys who have turned into zombies and skeletons. Help, please. Okay, it's time to try out my grenade launcher. You girls run away. Okay, okay, sorry. It was a prank. Don't shoot. We're not really zombies and skeletons. Honest witch. Yeah, it's actually a prank. JJ and I are real. Mikey and JJ, you realize you scared them to death. I almost shot you with a rocket launcher. Go apologize to your family. JJ girl, look, I'm not a zombie. It was a prank. We're not really evil. Mikey girl, look, I'm not a skeleton. Oh. Subscribe on channel. Leave a comment and put a like if you enjoyed today's adventure. Today in the video, we went to explore a huge bloody scary castle where we found a clown who was locked in a cage asking us to help him. While we were trying to rescue him, Mikey suddenly disappeared. I found him bloody in a pit and drank a reduction potion and went inside the Mikey to rescue him.
Mikey, do you think we'll find anything of value by exploring this scary, giant, bloody castle? It's been abandoned for a long time. Some king used to live there. JJ, I don't know, but why are there so many bodies hanging from spears? I'm getting really scared. I hope we don't find anything that scares us. I'm a little scared too, Mikey. But let's see what's in the castle anyway. I still think there's something valuable in here. Well, here we are. JJ, let's explore the second floor of the castle. There's nothing on the ground floor. Yeah, I think we should start on the second floor too. We've been on the first floor many times, but we've never been up to the second floor. I'm really interested in what's up there. Look. There's a passage. I can't wait to see what's in there. If you can't wait, go ahead. Oh, why is there blood all over the place? Mikey, I'm getting creeped out here. Oh? It's fresh blood too. JJ, I'm getting really scared. Look, it's like this blood leads somewhere. Let's follow the trail, see if anyone needs help. Where'd you run so fast, Mikey? Wait for me. Oh my God, what's with the guillotine? That's really weird. How scary she looks, I just can't I'm so scared. It's like she's been used recently. Yeah. Oh? Ah! <laughs> What's the matter, Mikey? What do you expect to see in a coffin? Of course, there's going to be a skeleton in there. You have a very funny reaction to that. It was just unexpected. Better look at this. Who's lying there? It's like this girl tried to crawl out of here, but she didn't have the strength. She's covered in blood. It's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks really creepy. Let's go see what's in the room on the right. I'm really curious what that girl was trying to escape from. Oh my god, JJ, what the hell happened here? Why are there so many bodies? There's blood all over the place. I can't imagine, Mikey, but it looks really creepy. A separate room just to keep all those bloody bodies in. It's creepy. And you can see that many of them have been lying here for a long time and others literally a couple of days. I wonder who does all this? I hope we don't find out about it. I still want to live. Yeah, I agree with you, Mikey. There's even a skeleton lying around, creepy. Oh my god, what's a blood fountain doing here? Who owns this place? I just don't know how much you have to love blood to make a blood fountain. I don't know either, it's weird. Let's go explore the third floor. Maybe there's something more valuable there. Yeah, JJ, that's a great idea. Uh, I felt so much better when we left. It's a very bad energy. Mikey, maybe we should go home. I'm just not sure we're gonna find anything. No, let's just explore the rest of it and then we'll go. Wow, Mikey, look what it is. It looks like a prison. Who are you, clown? What are you doing behind bars? Help me, please. I haven't eaten in three days. I'm locked in here. I've been stolen from the circus and my leg ripped off. Help me. Find the key and open the door for me, please. There's some key on the wall. Wonder if it'll fit. No, it doesn't. We'll help you, clown. Just you wait. Clown, maybe you know where the key to your grill is. We're not going to find it. The guy who sawed off my leg told me to try and jump to the basement on one leg. I think the key is in the basement. Why don't you go take a look, please? We'll definitely go and look at the key. Subscribers, if you feel sorry for this clown, put a like under the video. Because we feel sorry for him, don't we, Mikey? Yeah. So, Mikey, we've come to the basement. Are you ready to go down there and find the key? Aren't you scared? We've never been down there before. Yes, I'm ready. Let's find that key. By the way, the locks have very large cellars and we need to find the key as soon as possible. Mikey, I have a great idea. Let's try to split up. If you go that way and I go this way, we'll find the key very quickly and free the clown from the trap. Wow, JJ, you're right. Yeah, let's split up. It'll be a lot faster. Let's go this way and I'll go this way. Good luck. If you need anything, holler and I'll come help. So, uh, where to go? I think I'll go left first. Oh God, there's skeletons again. I'm not surprised. Okay, dead end, so I'm gonna go the other way. I wonder how the Mikeys are doing. Okay, that's a dead end too. I'll go to the farthest passageway. Wow, there's a spider web. It's gonna be nasty, but we gotta get through it. 
Yay, look, there's a key. Subscribers, please write a message in the comments for Mikey that I found the key so he knows and gets out of the maze. And while you're writing a comment, I'm gonna try to get out of the maze and find him. Mikey, can you hear me? Ah! Whoa, that's Mikey's voice. We gotta go find him. What's wrong with him? What's he doing screaming like that? So where do I go? Okay, I'll look everywhere I can. It's a dead end. And this is where we're at. It's a dead end here too. Stop. What was that? It's Mikey's favorite toy. He always carries it around with him and never lets it out of his hands. Why is it lying here without Mikey himself? Maybe Mikey's here. No, that's a dead end too. Oh my God. What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna find him? You should take his toy and go outside. Maybe he decided to go that way thinking I went that way. Subscribers, try calling Mikey in the comments. Maybe he will see and come. And while you're writing a comment for Mikey, I'll try to look for Mikey outside. Do you think I can find him there or not? Okay, I'm gonna run. And so I'm out on the street. Whoa, what's that pit? Okay, I gotta check it out. It wasn't here. Ah! Mikey's lying here. Oh my God, who did this to you? Why are you covered in blood? Mikey, can you hear me? Oh my God, he's not breathing. I gotta go get help. I gotta get him back up now. Subscribers, wish me luck in the comments. Without your faith in me resurrecting Mikey, I won't succeed. Please post a comment. Clown, emergency, are you there? I found the key, but I need your help. While I was looking for the key, disaster struck. Someone killed Mikey while we were in the basement. Do you have any idea what I should do? How I can revive him? Can you help me? JJ, that's terrible, but I have an idea. In the meantime, open the cage. I'm finally free. Okay, there's a closet with all my stuff in it. Look, in this drawer is a potion that will turn you into a very small JJ. You can get inside the Mikey and try to revive him by fixing everything in his body. Thank you, clown. I'm off to revive the Mikey. Okay, I'm here, Mikey. I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna help you now, just don't die. Okay, we gotta break the potion. Wow, I'm so small, look at that. Mikey's an incredible giant compared to me. Okay, now I gotta get into his body. Ho ho! I did it, I'm inside Mikey. Subscribers, look, I'm inside Mikey's head. It's kind of funny, but I have a big job to do. Like the clown said, I have to fix all the broken things in his body, and then I can bring him back to life. Okay, it's a lot of work. There's so much blood and broken bones. I'm gonna start with the bones. Okay, first bone's done. Now we gotta fix the second bone. Done. I've made this bone. Now I'm gonna get all the blood out of here. There shouldn't be any. I'm surprised how much Mikey got hurt, who hurt him so badly, but I have to revive him. All right, the blood's done. There's more bones to fix. Mikey will come back to life. Subscribers, please wish me luck. Subscribe to the channel. It will give me confidence that I can do it. Okay, the bones are all fixed. Oh, there's some blood left, that's it. I fixed everything in Mikey's body. Subscribers, I'm sure it was only with your help in the comments that I was able to pull this off. Thank you very much. Wait, why is Mikey's heart still gray? That's weird. Oh, I haven't looked at his leg yet. Right. We have to clean up all the blood and replace the broken bones with new ones, and then the heart will be red again. The main thing is to do it carefully and quickly. Mikey's my best friend. I can't do it without him. Okay, it's done. Why is the heart gray again? Hmm, it's old. Okay, I have an idea. I'll take Mikey's favorite toy and put it next to the heart. I was able to do it. And now Mikey heart is beating again and he's breathing again. I'm sure I couldn't have done it without your support. Whoa, what's going on? I'm alive again, JJ. You would know what happened when we were in the maze. Thank you and the subscribers for reviving me. Phew! Subscribe on channel, leave a comment, and put a like if you enjoyed today's adventure. 
Today in the video, while we were playing toys, we were suddenly attacked by zombies, but we managed to escape from them in the basement. After a while, they found us again, but we managed to escape, and after completing a few tasks, we got out to stop the zombie apocalypse. JJ, I love playing with toys. My god, they're so cool! What was that sound? Ah! Ah! Mikey, JJ and JJ Girl turned into zombies, my god. What are we gonna do? Let's get to the garage. Yeah, I agree with you, baby JJ. Let's run to the garage so we can get outside and ask for help. Yeah. Come on, baby JJ, we're here. Come on, open the garage door. We gotta run, the zombies are coming. Ah! Ah! Baby Mikey, let's break through the zombies in the house and run under the stairs. There's a basement where we can hide from the zombies. Hurry up and run. Hurry up and jump in the basement before they get us. We need to shut down the trapdoor so they can't get to us. Phew, we made it out. Oh my god, I'm so glad. I'm very happy too, baby JJ. Okay, baby Mikey, let's take a look around this cave. It's scary, but it's better than the house and the outdoors. Yes, I agree with you, baby JJ. Look how beautiful it is here. I love these vines. They come down to the floor so nicely. Ooh, baby Mikey, look, there's a fire. Let's go to it, it's freezing. I'm starting to feel my bones freeze. Look, there's freshly fried fish. Let's take it. I'm so hungry, I'm... Yeah, we could really use the food. You're right, baby Mikey. Yum, 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 yum. Baby JJ, why don't you sit down on the rock by the fire? It's warmer. We can rest after what happened. Yeah, you're right, baby Mikey. Maybe it's a good thing it happened, because the fish is so good. Totally agree with you. Ah! What do we do? It's a dead end. My god, we're trapped. No, stop. There's a half-broken rock, baby JJ. Break it. It worked. Baby Mikey, hurry up and get inside. They can't get us in here. They're too big for such a small hole. Phew. We made it. Baby JJ, let's keep going. OK, it's a dead end. Let's try the other way. Ooh, there's a sewer. There's usually something valuable in here. Yeah, and I read there's some huge evil rats. But let's take a look around. I think we'll find something of value. Oh my god, that's creepy. Oh, look, baby JJ. There's a piece of paper. Look at it. See if it's important. It's got some numbers written on it. Eight, three, six, seven. Sounds like some kind of code. We should take it with us. I'm sure we'll need it. Let's move on. Okay. I wonder what else is in here. Okay, look, JJ. There's a shiv. I think we can take it. In case we have to cut down some bars. We're gonna need this. We'll take it with us. Okay, let's keep going. There's a hole, baby Mikey. I'm scared. Are we gonna jump in? We have no option to go anywhere else. There are zombies waiting behind us. So let's jump down. Ha! Yep. You okay, baby Mikey? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Where are we? This place is really weird. There's bars. Like to see if anyone's coming. Look, behind the bars you can see some chests. There must be something valuable. I've got something to cut them down with. Let's do it. Wait, baby Mikey, there's a door that can be opened by entering a code. And we found a piece of paper with a code written on it. Maybe we can use it. Do you remember what it said? Eight, three, six, seven... Okay, we should try to enter it on the door. <gasps> wow! Yeah, I knew it was the door code. We did it. Oh my god, what is this? Baby Mikey, it's like someone's been murdered. There's so much blood. Okay, let's ignore that. Look, there's a room. I saw chests. Let's see what's in there. Stop! Why can't I open it? There's a lock on it, baby JJ. Ugh. And what does it say? Please read it. Okay. It says you have to write a comment to open the chest. Baby Mikey, what does it mean to write a comment? This is an appeal to our subscribers. In order for the chest to open, we need you to write a comment. Please help us. Without these chests, we will not be able to end the zombie apocalypse. Yes, subscribers, post a comment. Help us stop the zombie apocalypse. Let's wait a couple seconds for them to post a comment. Ooh, wow! 
Subscribers, thank you so much for commenting. Baby Mikey, there's a key. Let's open the chests and see what's inside. <laughs> wow, this chest contains a sword, a knife, and some grenades. I'll keep the grenades and give you the sword. Woohoo! Wow, and in this chest, there's dynamite and guns. I'll give you that. We'll need it. And here, we have a gun and a grenade launcher. I'm gonna keep this one. Thank you, subscribers, for commenting, or we wouldn't have gotten the guns. Yes, thank you, subscribers. Now, JJ, let's go and see what's behind the other bars. I'm very curious about what's in there. I agree. Let's go there faster. At least there's no blood. I saw a very strange office, like something very important is in there. Let's go there faster. Stop! Look, why is there a red light by the door? Mikey, it says you have to like the video to open the door. You liked it, but I already have it. Yes, I already put a like. I feel like this is an appeal to our subscribers. Subscribers, please put a like under the video so we can open the door. I agree. Subscribers, please give it a like. It will take you literally a couple seconds and we can make sure there are no more zombies. Yes! We did it! Subscribers, thank you so much for liking this. We really appreciate it. Mikey, let's finally see what's in there. Yeah, thank you so much. It's all about getting through that door because it's so fast. I don't even notice. What's that? What's with the light bulbs? It looks really weird. Do you have any ideas? No, I don't know what that means at all. Oh, look, there's a book. Let's read it. I didn't see it at all. Well, let's see what it says. Well, it says it's a manual for a zombie killing machine. What is this? The other one has instructions on it. Okay, baby, Mikey. Remember, it says we need to find three keys to activate the lights. The keys are somewhere in the city and we need to find them. Okay, I got it all memorized. Let's go find the keys. It's like this manual was made just for us. We found a lot of weapons, so we won't be afraid of any zombies. Well, there's a way out, baby Mikey. Are you ready for the legendary battle against the zombies? I'm always ready. I can't wait to get started. Follow me, baby JJ. I'm coming up behind you. My God, it's deep. Okay, Mikey, grab your weapon. We need to be very quiet so we don't attract the attention of the zombies. Oh no, the zombies have already started attacking us. JJ, you can start shooting or use your sword to kill the zombies silently. Okay. We've dealt with the first batch of zombies. Let's go to the right. Maybe that's where one of the keys is because there's a lot of zombies there. Baby JJ, look, there's some zombies. I'll shoot them. You take them out. Come on, I'm starting. We gotta keep going. Okay, baby Mikey, we beat the last zombie in this crowd. Let's go to the woods. There's a weird house that should have a key. There's another zombie. That's it, we're done with them. Let's go into the woods. We've cleared the road. We can go see if there's a key we need in this house. Yeah, let's see what's inside. Oh my God, what is this man doing here? Now I'm scared. Oh, look, there's the key we need. It's number three. Great, we just need to find key number two and number one. <sighs> Yay, let's go to the pizza place. Maybe there's a key we're looking for. Okay, we're almost there. Baby Mikey, let's be quiet so we don't waste ammo. Maybe we can get past them. Yeah, I agree. That's what we'll do. Look, there's two zombies. We'll try to get past them without attracting their attention. Ah! They've spotted us. Shoot fast. We have to beat them before it's too late. Yay, we did it. No more zombies in the pizzeria. Let's see what's in the kitchen. I'll take a knife just in case. Oh, baby Mikey, look, there's another key number two. Now we just need to find key number one. So where do you think it might be? Let's try the gym. I've seen a lot of zombies there. He's definitely there. Yeah, you're right, baby Mikey. There's a key, only it's guarded by a zombie. I got it. That makes it key number one. Let's go back and activate the zombie killing machine. Yay, we made it. We're a real team, baby Mikey. So first key activated. Second key activated. And now 
is a fork key. You want to be a fork key? No more zombies. Baby JJ, look who's standing there. <laughs> Subscribe and channel. Leave a comment and give a like if you enjoyed today's adventure.